Welcome back to the Big and Little Crochet blog and this is hexagon number 11, the rose hips and uh, much like the pips that we've seen before, the hips are little um, blips made by uh, double crochets in one of the rows. So I'm going to show you how it's done and we start off with the rows and we're going to make a six chain. So uh, start off with a slip knot as usual and then six chains that we're going to join into a ring. And then go into the first chain that you made and join with a slip stitch. And then into that ring, we're going to do um, trebles. So one, two, three chains for a treble and then another one because there's a chain in between each of our trebles. So then a treble and a chain, a treble and a chain. And do that so that you've got 12 of these spokes going all the way around. And at the end, I'm going to join with a slip stitch to the top of the three chain that we did at the beginning. Well, the third was actually four chains, wasn't it? We join there and then we can fasten off because next we're gonna join on river, which is the mid blue. So we're going to join river to any of these one chain spaces and I've got a slip stitch here already. And then we're doing two treble clusters. So I'm going to start off uh, with a two chain and um, a treble. And then a two chain gap and a two treble cluster. So I'll show you how to do that. You start off as if you were going to do a treble and you do the first part of the treble and you stop. Then you go to make another treble and you do the first part and you stop and then you yarn over and through all three of those. And then you do another two chain and do it all over again. So you're gonna do a two treble cluster into each of those spaces going all the way around. And at the end of that round, I've done two chains and I'm going to join with a slip stitch to the top of the first two chain that you did. And then fasten off and we're going to join in the teal now. So join your teal to any of those two chain spaces. And I've already made a slip stitch here. And then we're going to do trebles. So we're going to have three trebles in each space. So uh, start off with a three chain and then another two trebles in that space. Then three treble, then one chain and another three treble. then one chain and then three treble into the next space here and keep doing that all the way around. And when we get to the end, I'm gonna do one chain and join with a slip stitch to the top of that first three chain and fasten off because we're going to do a round with the rose pink. So I'm going to join the pink to any of these one chain spaces. And I've already got a slip stitch here. And we just do a single chain there to start off. And then we're going to do uh, a chain of three. One, two, three. So that's four all together and then a double crochet in the next space. And another three and a double crochet. Another three and a double crochet. I think you can see 
where this is going and we're staying in a circle shaping happens in the next round and then I'm going to join with a slip stitch to that first chain and fasten off the pink and in the next round we're going to join the teal again uh, but first of all I'm going to sew in some of these ends So my little uh, circle uh, doesn't want to sit flat, but I think it will up to the next round. And I'm going to join the teal to any of these um, three chain spaces. And we're going to do some trebles. So I start off with a three chain. And then two trebles into this space. So. The next space is going to have three trebles also. And the next space is going to have six trebles divided by a two chain gap for the corner. So we have three trebles, then two chains, and another three treble. Whoops. And that's the pattern. So three treble, three treble, two chain, three treble. So you repeat that. So every other one has two. And when you get back to the first space, we're going to do another three treble into that, that space too, and end with a two chain. And join with a slip stitch to the top of that first chain that you did. And then we can fasten off the teal. Now we're going to join the river into any of these spaces and we're going to have a round of half trebles. So start off with a two chain and then we're going to do one half treble in each of those nine spaces along the row. So the half treble you do yarn over and then yarn over again and through all three. And at the corner, I'm going to do one half treble and two chain and another half treble into that same space. And then another uh, nine down the row, starting off at this very first stitch. And at the end, I'm just going to join with a slip stitch to the first two chain that we did and we can fasten off. So I've just got to do a little bit of um, sewing in of those last ends, but then that's hexagon number 11 done.